Rather than talk about any one special teacher, I'd like to talk about the effect that teachers have had on me in general, beginning with a teacher that I had in the first grade in elementary school who thought that I was mentally disabled and had me tested for retardation, which is what they called it in the day. I didn't get that diagnosis, but a few years later, another teacher said, you know, you're one of the least likely students I know to complete high school. I was getting C's and D's at that time, doing terribly academically. But then a funny thing happened. When I got to high school, I found some teachers who really supported me, who believed in me. And over those four years, I improved enough so that at the end, I graduated number two in a class of about 500 students. Same thing in college at the University of Minnesota. Teachers were wonderful, they believed in me. I ended up graduating summa cum laude in under two years. My luck ran out though when I entered the doctoral program in psychology at Stanford University and my PhD advisor, the person I was assigned to, didn't see much potential in me. And sure enough, uh, in short order, I ended up on academic probation. I was about this far from being removed from the program. I switched advisors a few times, ultimately became uh, the, the student of Phil Zimbardo, a legendary teacher who believed in me. And long story short, I ended up finishing my PhD on time uh, in four years at Stanford. Since then, had a wonderful career. Now, what do I take from these ups and downs? I think two lessons. First, teachers can have an extraordinary impact if they believe in their students. But secondly, if you're a student who has teachers who don't believe in you, consider at least the possibility that the limitation is the teacher's and not yours, and try to find teachers who do believe in you so that you can reach your true potential.